Hi everyone, Trish Triantho Sullivan here, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about Flash. <laughs> Flash, it's lecture number 31 in the introduction to photography class. So let's get started. This will be fairly quick because there's not a lot to talk about here. Um, we have four main types of flash. Okay, so we got four main types of flash. So let's talk about number one. Number one is built in. And guess what? It's just like it sounds. It's built into the camera. So if I would show you an example of that, I can show you on this little, my little tiny camera, where you have a little flash right there, and it's built into the camera, right? It's not external, it's built in. So if I power on, and I decide to put my flash on, right, it'll make a flash. So that's, um, that's built in, so that's part of the camera. You can't take it off and put it somewhere else. It has to be on the camera, okay? So built in is the, is the most common type of flash that you'll find on your camera, on, on a camera. Um, the second type um, that's really common is called a hot shoe. Whoops, make that more like an O. So a hot shoe flash is common on single lens reflex cameras. So I'm gonna show you this part here, and they look, some of them look a little different, but I'm gonna show you on my camera here. This part here, right, is the boot, right, the shoe that you put into. And this is a type of hot shoe flash. This is what they look like. Okay, you can, they're nice because you can point them up at the ceiling to reflect down onto your subject, um, or you can, you know, point them directly at your subject so you can see. Um, and you can also use them externally, like off of your camera if you want to. If you want to have a flash that's external, you can use it that way. Um, it works great for when you're doing. Um, say special effects and you need to have a separate flash to like put light on something while you have a long exposure, this is really good for that. This is what professionals use. If you um, see, say wedding photographers or portrait photographers a lot of times, this is what you'll see when they're traveling, right? When they're um, uh, using their camera outside of a studio. Um, if they're in a studio, right, they would probably use, um, uh, studio lighting and a lot of times that is now done it used to be with wires right they used to attach to your camera with wires um, so they'd flash at the same time now we have Bluetooth so most of them are Bluetooth but the other type would be a studio light right and that would be an external flash that say goes up on a, a tripod stand um, and uh, they have a lot of different kinds, of course, and they would normally um, flash when the camera, at the same time when you're taking the photograph, just like a built-in flash or a hot shoe flash, it's triggered by the shutter release button. And so is the studio, the studio lighting. Um, that would be triggered from the, uh, uh, from the camera itself via Bluetooth when you, when you depress the shutter release button. If you watch the video with Dean Collins, the heavenly Porsche, you'll notice he used studio flash lighting um, and he called it, you know, he, he said they did four pops, right? And that means four times that the flash was released in order to get the light that he needed for his exposure to be what, what, he, would con what he considered perfect, okay? And then the fourth kind um, is a little less common anymore, but it's a handle mount. And you might have seen this. I'll draw a little picture. If you have a, you've seen like a camera, um, you might have seen them in an old film where there's something coming out from the side like this, 
and then there's the flash here. Okay, this is the handle mount, that right there. All right, that's the handle. So you could actually hold it and it comes out. Usually it's kind of attached. It has a, like a battery pack that attaches to the bottom of the camera. Um, so it has a lot, it has a lot more uh, uh, power, say, than a built-in flash does because it has a lot of extra battery power, okay? The, the advantage of a handle mount flash is that it's not going directly in the eyes. So there's pros and cons for all of these. The built-in flash often can cause red eye because when the light goes into, uh, when the light like flashes like directly into your eyes, it literally goes in and bounces off all those blood vessels in your eye and that's what causes red eye. It makes it look like your eyes are red, like you have some kind of a, you know, devil, devil eye or whatever, right? Um, so that's what causes it. And that's why these kind of a flash, flashes, um, the hot shoe flash, has a way that you can make it so that it's not looking directly into the eyes of your subject. So you can make it point up a little bit, you can make it bounce off the ceiling, right? Um, so you don't have that problem. And it actually tells you like the angle that you're, gonna, that you're looking at there on the back. You can kind of see that it has the angle um, that you can look, that you can see what you're doing with your, uh, with your flash. And the handle mount is the same thing. It puts the flash off to the side a little bit, so it's not going directly into the eyeballs of your subject um, and causing red eye. So that's the, that's the pro of using a hot shoe, a studio flash, or a handle mount flash. The built-in flash is really great. I mean, honestly, this camera is perfect for traveling. Um, it takes great pictures. Um, would I use the flash? Probably not very often. Um, although in, in uh, at photo editing programs, they have uh, you know tools that you can get rid of red eye really easily. So you can go in and do after work if you're using a, a digital single lens reflex camera or a small point and shoot, okay? So that's it about flashes. There's four types, built in, part of the camera, hot shoe, um, because it has a little boot on the top that you slide the flash into. So that would go like this, right? Right into the camera boot. Um, studio flash, which would be an external flash like on a tripod and handle mount. And that's it. We'll see you in class.